accounting and database management systems. Now students, we know that accounting information or any management information generates a lot of data and it obviously requires a lot of task on the account of the management to maintain that data. So to maintain that data, we have various database systems. So let us first understand what is a database. Database is a shared collection of interrelated data tables, files and structures which are designed to meet varied information needs of an organization. So student, it is a shared collection. Remember, database has to be shared collection. It cannot be for specific use of an individual. So it is a shared collection which gives us interrelated data tables, files and structures. That means any kind of information which is interrelated. They are designed to meet the varied information needs of an organization. So whatever be the information need of an organization, it can be generated and gathered through this particular database. And the system which actually helps us to gather this kind of information is called as database management system. Remember, any accounting information system is actually based on database management system unless and until you have database management system at the back end. You cannot have a proper accounting information system working for you in the front offices. Now students, any database system has to have two basic characteristics that is it must be integrated. Integrated system means that any data that we require should be assimilated, collected and presented in a useful and proper formatted manner. If that is not there, then again the data cannot be interpreted in a, pro in a proper manner. Hence, it would be of no use. So, integration is must. Then we have The first one being integrated that is proper presentation and the second part for any database system is its reliability that is the information must be reliable. It must be backed by relevant information and that information should be correct. Also the information that is presented through this data should be shared. Remember, it should be shared information. That is, once a database has been created, it should be shared among the users and the creators. The one who has entered the reliable information into any data should then be actually able to share that information with the users of that particular database.